Let's get rid of this one. Let's clear our calculator. Now on a, on a real computer you could hit reset, but here you have to erase your dot. So you erase your dot, reset your card. I like to put it on 100. You do not have to. All that matters is the relative distance between the dot here and along this axis here. It doesn't really matter what numbers are under there. I could just as easily put 130 under there. I could put 150. It's unimportant. But for consistency, I like to put the 100 under there because it has a couple of zeros and it just looks more like zero. But in the end, it doesn't matter. But for consistency, just stick 100 under there. Now, let's do another one. Let's assume one of the questions that we are practicing with, or one of the questions from the test, gives you a true course of 345 degrees. They give you wind information of, let's say, 300 degrees at 14 knots. And let's say the true airspeed they give us is 90 knots. Okay, what's the first thing we do? First thing we do is we look up at the true index mark here and we enter the true course value. The true course value is 345 degrees, so all we do is spin our calculator to 345. So we're at 345 degrees. We make sure that our card is still on the 100 arc under the hole here. Come a little closer so you can see. Okay, so our first variable is in. The next variable we look for is the wind speed. That is given at 14 knots. So we know that from here to the first dark arc, it's 10. So there's 2 and there's 4. Each one of the lines represents 2, right? So we know this is 10, 12, 14. And on the point where it crosses that vertical line, we just put our dot. And that represents 14 knots graphically. Now, the next thing we do is we look at the wind direction. That's 300 and we spin the wheel so that the 300 is under the true index. Right about there. And you'll note that our dot moved. Okay. Now, once that's finished, we look at our final bit of information in the given information, which is the true airspeed. And here, it's 90 knots. So we want to slide the card so that that dot is right on top of the 90 knot arc. So now the dot is on top of the 90 knot arc. To find the ground speed, the ground speed is represented by the arc underneath the hole here. And I can see the number 80 is peeking out, which represents this dark arc right here. So it's somewhere between the 80 arc and the 78 arc. So the answer must be 79 knots. So our ground speed is equal to 79 knots.